I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dogs that I grew beside, all the niggas proud me, I and it died, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for tuning in. So, today we're starting off the video at work. I had to come into the office. Excuse me. I had to come into the office this morning. I'm trying to get my in office days out of the way. If you are like a hybrid worker, let me know. Um, I'm interested to see how many of you guys still have the option to like completely work from home or are you mandated to come in like a certain amount of times a week or a month and all of that. I still have to come in um, a few times a month so I'm just getting those days out of the way and that's pretty much all that it is me getting the days out of the way because <laughs> I could really be at home right now but that's beside the point. I hope you guys are doing well whenever you are watching this. Um, I don't really have too much. Like I said, I'm at work. Okay, y'all, so real quick, I also wanted to tell y'all that these are still the same boho mini twist that I did in the video. I'll pop the video up here so you guys can check it out. But y'all, I have had these mini twists, these boho mini twists in my hair for two weeks. Two weeks. And it still looks pretty good. Like, I've been refreshing them um, spraying water putting a little bit more mousse and then like kind of slicking down my edges and it still looks good now I am going to go ahead and wash my hair this weekend but boo do y'all see this um I might be doing those mini twists again y'all tell me what y'all think <laughs> like a two-week hairstyle and it was super low maintenance I've been working out and it's just super convenient super low maintenance i don't have to do much and it still looks good especially with me working out and everything so i'm gonna link it up here y'all check out that video if you haven't already and yeah boho mini twist definitely gets the thumbs up for me hey y'all i am actually home from work i'm done with work i came home did what i needed to do finished up i actually just finished um recording a green juice video for you guys so two weeks ago i think i posted a juicing video if you don't know i am into juicing right now so i did post the video it's doing really well and this week i wanted to get another recipe up so this week we did green juice so if you are interested to know what's inside my little green juice wellness shot then make sure you stay tuned for that upload um it should already be up before you see this video, so I'll actually link it for you so you can watch it. Other than that, right now, um, if you know, you know. If you juice, then you know you have cleanup after that. So I am about to clean up this um, semi of a mess I made. It actually didn't make that big of a mess. Um, I have the juices still here and I can show y'all. So if you see here, this is my mess. I need to clean up, not too much of a mess. And here go all my little green juice shots. So after I clean this up, I'm actually gonna take like a bubble bath, y'all. Today is Thursday and I am tired. I am exhausted. Like, do you guys ever get those weeks where it's just like all of the energy that you've ever possessed <laughs> just leaves you. Like that's how I feel right now. I have no energy at all whatsoever. Work has been working me all week. Um, I've also been going into office, so I'm sure that has something to do with it because getting up at five o'clock and getting up at seven o'clock in the morning are two different things. And I've also been working out. I've changed up my diet a little bit. So I've actually been doing a lot. So I kind of understand why I'm a little tired. 
But after I clean this up, I am going to go do a bubble bath, okay? Yes, we're gonna have a little self-care time. So I'm gonna do a bubble bath, I'm gonna do my skincare routine, and I'm going to sit down, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take a break because today has been a day. It is actually like two days later from the last time I talked to y'all. I think the last time I talked to y'all, I was having a little self-care night. I was running a bath and all that good stuff. Today is actually Saturday. I got up, I did my hair. Yep, your girl straightened her hair in the summertime. I sure did. And I also recorded it for you guys. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, I explained everything I did. Um, yeah, I am on my way to get my eyebrows done. I go to a waxing place by where I live and it never dawned on me that my esthetician could do my eyebrows. I mean, I know they do, you know, all kind of waxing and stuff like that, but she is actually like the lead eyebrow person at the shop. And I'm like, girl, why you didn't tell me? So. Um, she's gonna do my eyebrows today. She's gonna wax them and I'm also gonna get them tinted. So super excited about that Super excited to see how it turns out And y'all for real, that's like my only Errand type errand that I have to run today. My appointment is at 3 20. So it's probably like a little after 3 o'clock right now not that far away and um yeah, earlier this morning, I kind of laid around, watched a couple of YouTube videos, um, and then I got up, washed my hair, and that was like recording and all that, so if y'all know, once you're recording, that can take a while, so I really need to start posting back on Instagram, y'all for real, I just don't know, like, I don't know, I feel like I don't know how to jump back in. <laughs> I did post a um, picture from when I went to the Erica Badu concert and I did a short about that. So if y'all wanna see like a little mini clip of that, I do have a short on my channel about it. But yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even feel like if I know if I want to get back into Instagram. I know that it will help build up my channel, being consistent on both platforms, but I don't know. I'll probably start posting a little bit more and see how I feel about it. But yeah, y'all, um, on the way, like I said, to get my eyebrows done. So take a look at them now. Because they're going to be real extra cute by the time I get done. And um, yeah, I 
we'll let you guys see what they look like when I get done. All right, y'all, I am back from my appointment and my eyebrows are looking so good. I love getting them tinted. It just gives you an extra, you know, it's the same thing like getting your lashes done. You know, if you get your lashes done, it just makes you feel like you put together without putting on makeup. So now my brows are together. I feel a lot like extra cute or whatever, you know. All right, somebody is being obnoxious. But yeah, y'all. If you haven't tried it before and you like, you know, getting your eyebrows done, I would definitely suggest getting them tinted. It just gives you an extra boost of cuteness. So one thing that I love about getting my eyebrows tinted is that it lasts for about two weeks. So my eyebrows will stay looking good like this for about two weeks and I don't have to like fill them in and use my eyebrow pencil and all that good stuff. So that's why I like getting it done. And I usually get it done like um, around times or that I know I have something coming up. Like I have a birthday party to go to, to tomorrow. So you know, when I'm getting my face done, I mean, you know, when I'm doing my makeup and stuff, I don't really have to do anything to my eyebrows. So, it's a convenient thing, but it's also cute. Um, same thing like getting your lashes done. I did used to get my lashes done, but I kind of felt like it was making my real lashes thin out. And that's the real reason why I stopped getting my lashes done. I love the way it makes you look. I love the way that it makes me look, but... I really felt like it was just doing something to my natural lashes that I don't like because my natural lashes are pretty long by themselves like I could legit use um, some mascara and be good so yeah 